guys, today we're here in Grand Isle, Louisiana. Today we're doing some inshore saltwater fishing. Uh, hopefully we're gonna catch some redfish and trout. But today is the beginning of 2017 Swole Fest Fishing Rodeo, which benefits Our Lady of the Lake Children's Hospital in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, so today's my first day here in Louisiana and my, and my first day fishing. So I'm looking forward to it, let's go. Offshore fishing instead of inshore fishing, and we are fishing on the oil rig. Uh, this one you can see is the unmanned oil rig, and I am now hooked up on a fish. First fish of the day. Oh, little baby. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. It's a little fish. Real red snapper, releasing him. By heart! You went first, you red snapper, gorgeous fish! Heck yeah! Ugh. Oh, there's a little fish! Oh, nice. I got that fish! All the prison for me to nice! Dude, those things fight hard! Oh, they, don't. they fight just like a mutton snapper, and you guys know I love catching mutton snappers back home, and these guys pounce on your bait. This is a gorgeous fish. Red snapper. Red snapper season is only three days long this year, which already ended. And we have a special permit for these guys. I'm going to pick them up real quick. I got my first keeper red grouper. Gorgeous fish. They are just as gorgeous as a mutton snapper. Look at their pink translucent tail and their pink fins. They're just an epically gorgeous fish. And I heard they're absolutely delicious as well. Never had one before. And as I was saying before, it's a three-day season, regular season. This year it was super rough, so a lot of people couldn't really get out to catch them. But you catch your limit, but for us, since the season is over, we have a special permit. So our special permit allows us to get keep two per person today. My first keeper, all of us are catching fish right now, having a blast out here. And this is an abandoned oil rig, so you hear that every couple seconds. Sorry about that. All right, into the fish box he goes. Right on the bottom, it just got hit. First bait I just dropped down. After my first fish, and instantly hooked up. Ooh, this is a good fish. They're trying to get me into the rig, and it's about, I think it's about 60 feet deep. But the water underneath, the water on the bottom here, the rig spreads out. The rig goes, the pipes go around and stuff. So these fish are smart and want to wrap you right in the rig. Oh, I got a, oh, I got a red. Oh my God. Look at this fish! That's a slug! I have to take a picture with him. He's gorgeous! That's a slob bull redfish! Look at this fish! Did not expect to catch that, honestly. Wow! What a beast! Oh my god! Look at this fish! How, how much do you think he weighs? I don't know. Oh my god! That's my biggest first redfish too pretty much. That's, that's a solid redfish. Check them out! Oh, I'm stoked right now. Hold him up. Look at this small redfish. Once again, a gorgeous fish. This is a little bull redfish. This is a full grown redfish. And this is easily 30 pounds. Pushing 30 pounds. Did not expect to catch this in on the oil rig. Here he goes. Back into the water. Head first. The mess. All right, that fish is gone. Epic first two catches of the day for me. Big, big red snapper. Big, big red fish. Killing it. A lot of firsts for me today already in the day. Just begun. All right, let's take a load. <laughs> let's go, Sizzle. This fish is peeling line. What he's doing? <laughs> what a pig! Nice one. What a pig! 
Thank you. Woo! They're getting bigger, man. They're getting bigger over here. All right, so that's my two fish limit, actually. Right. Two per person. Circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. Perfect. Smelled circle hook. This one is bigger than my first. Check it out. What a pig! I know these guys get huge, 20 pounds. This one is not 20, but this is a good fish. At least 10. Their colors are like fire engine red. Like they're so gorgeous. Look at the lips. They're like neon red, pinkish. So pretty, such a pretty fish. Can't wait to taste them. fight hard when they hit your bait. You really gotta get them up from the bottom because the rig is really be like spread out down there. Like there's there's a uh, metal stuff that sticks out from away from the rig down there, keeping it stable. And basically today we're just doing some pretty simple fishing, just regular bottom fishing on these rigs. And we are using 200 pound fluorocarbon leader because of all the structure down there and these fish like to wrap it up. And then we're using like a big ADOT Mustad circle hook, three times strong, really big thick hook. And I think we're putting a chunk of bonita on and we're just dropping it down, reeling it up from the bottom and waiting for the big fish to hit. So, this is awesome! Whoa! snapped it right by the boat. That's what we're doing is pretty simple fishing but you know fishing these rigs is a new experience for me and you know if you don't follow my channel already I highly, re I highly recommend that you subscribe because I provide a lot of great tips and tricks to offshore fishing and inshore fishing, freshwater, saltwater, doesn't matter but I'm always trying to help you guys catch more fish too and I'm showing you what we're doing and it's working. So far we're having a blast here. Rodeo, rodeo, and he just got a bigger keeper red grouper than I, uh, keeper red snapper than I did. We need one more for our limit, and that one is a little bigger. So we're gonna release this guy. But uh, how loud fun catching these guys? We limited it out really quick, probably within an hour, fishing three different rigs. This is a keeper, gorgeous fish. Gonna release him though. So we're our limit. He's gonna get big one day. Our next form of fishing now, after we limited out our red snappers, is we found a shrimp boat. And I've never done this before, it's another first for me. We are fishing directly behind this shrimp boat, the Golden Dragon. Sorry for all the noise, I'm talking loud so you can hear me. But uh, basically we're jigging and using jigs and swimming jigs right behind the boat, butterfly jigs as well. And we're just casting them out and seeing what fish are around the shrimp boat. And you can catch big yellowfin tunas. They just told me a story about it catching a 140 pound yellowfin tuna right behind a shrimp boat. So you catch a lot of epic fish. There's frigate birds out here diving, which is a good sign they're on big fish. And uh, we're just gonna try to stay with this shrimp boat and see if we can catch anything right now. Oh, you're hooking up on a fish now. Awesome. Get it. Thank you. Yeah. All right, they hooked up a fish behind the shrimp boat. I'm gonna reel it in, see what it is. Never done this kind of fishing before. It's there, color. That's a jack, I'll you. What, what is it? Looks like a jack, big, big jack crabelle. Wow. Big jack. Big jack. That's rough, baby. Nice. Big old jack crabelle. Yeah. Big, I guess big schools of jacks behind the shrimp boats too, but this is a, that's a big jack. That's a solid jack crabelle. The ones we catch back home are much smaller. Bubba Blades galore. We are going to clean some fish. As you can see, we're back here at the dock and today was just an amazing day and I'm just truly blessed and lucky to be here and be able to fish here in Louisiana for the very first time and had a ton of firsts today. Biggest red snapper ever, biggest bull red fish ever. Uh, just an epic day and then seeing all the oil rigs was totally cool. 
way different experience for me. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you stay tuned because the next couple videos on my channel that will be uploaded is going to be all about Swole Fest Fishing Rodeo here in Grand Isle, Louisiana. Um, so check that out. It's going to be an awesome event which benefits Our Lady of the Lakes Children's Hospital out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, so thank you for watching. We'll be back in with our next adventure. We got a bunch of fish to fillet over here. So until my next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.